Welcome back to the Now Buffalo. Okay, Florida is hundreds of miles away, but lots of us have family and friends, vacation homes there, and we're really worried about what Irma may do. We keep hearing about different hurricane categories and wind strengths, but it can be really hard to picture what that looks like. So Aaron's here to kind of break it all down for us. Yeah, Hannah. So now Hurricane Irma is a category five. That is a wow. major hurricane. That is as high as the Saffir Simpson scale goes. And as we take a look at that scale, you can see a category one storm will have winds around 74 to 95 miles per hour. They'll be dangerous, but that'll be causing minimal damage. As we look at a category two storm, extreme winds with extensive damage. Now we get into category three. Now we're talking about major hurricanes. Now these will cause devastating damage for anyone who's in the path of a category three storm. Let's get up to category four. Now we're talking winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour, catastrophic damage. Category five, which is Irma, with winds of 157 miles per hour or higher. This one has winds of 185 miles per hour. You can see total devastation, catastrophic damage with extreme winds. That's why it is so important to evacuate people in the path of this storm, because that is what they're going to be dealing with. Hannah.